Hey, what's up? Tyler here of uh, WMR. Uh, here with an album review. This time I'm going to be talking about Flesh God Apocalypse new album, Labyrinth. This is coming out August 20th on Nuclear Blast Records. This is their third full length, and uh, they do have another EP, and um, this follows up Agony from 2011, I believe, yes. Um, so, Flesh God Apocalypse is a, a death metal band, a, a more, you know, symphonic death metal band from Italy, and, you know, as many of you, many of you watched my Elegy track review, if you did, and, you know, I explained why I didn't like Agony too much, I explained everything about this band, how I felt. And, you know, I dig Oracles, I dig the Mafia EP, I really, besides maybe a song or so, I can't stand Agony. And I even listened to it yesterday, again, before I did this review. I'm like, I want to try to get into this album, I just can't do it. It just, it bothers me. Um, and, and I bought this album at the show that I saw them, um, with Winter Sun. And, uh, they were selling it, so I was like, what the fuck, why not, I'll give it a shot. And uh, it, was, it was only 10 bucks, and, you know, I can get it early, like two weeks early. So, uh, or a little over a week, actually. Um, anyways, so is this album good? Yes, in ways. It, it is good, but it's not great. It, but it, it, to me, it's kind of almost average. Um, I'll, I'll start with the good things that I enjoyed about it. Um... For once, uh, the the songwriting is improved, if you ask me. Agony was very, very, very repetitive. And I, that was three varies. I would say this album is just very repetitive. It, it, it's, it, it, they do spice it up. And I think when they spice it up, of course, that's the best moments of this album. And, and you know, they released the song Minotaur, The Wrath of Poseidon. That's my favorite song on this album. That song is so good. And why? Because it's not blast, tremolo pick, you know, it's it's different, it's slowed down, It's it's got a nice pace to it, it's kind of heavy, and the chorus is really nice and catchy and stuff, that's a good song. And there's a couple other good ones on here that I really like. I really like the song Epilogue and uh, Under the Black Sails, which are the ninth and 10th track on this album, and I believe the 5th track, War Pledge is really good too. But I feel that the last two tracks, well the last track is entitled Labyrinth, it's just a piano instrumental, but the last two full tracks are possibly some of the strongest material I think Flesh God Pox has written, especially Epilogue, um, or, or, or uh, the Under Black Sails actually, sorry. Um, both are kind of, you know, slow, very epic, they have a very bleak and dark atmosphere to them, and I really enjoy that, and track number 10 starts off with a very, with a riff that really fucking surprised me, it was very kind of twisted, it was weird, and I, and I like that, and then later, about halfway through the song, this amazing riff comes out that's just technical as shit, <coughs> excuse me, and I was just like, what?! Flex got Apocalypse using riffs? That's insane! Um, so when they do use riffs, it's really, really cool. But here lies my problem with this album. There is still a lot of tremolo picking. It's a lot during the verses where it's just, you know, you know, something like that, you know? Uh, you can get bitch at me all you want. But to me, tremolo picking is not, it doesn't take much talent. And I could give my guitar to my mom and she could tremolo pick. It doesn't take that much to just move your fingers very slowly at times, you know. Even then, it's not really that fast. And just strum like this, you know. 
it's not that hard to do. It's one of the first things that everybody does when they learn guitar. And, and that's what bothers me, is how repetitive it is. And, and if you ask me, well, how does that one sound compared to that one? I couldn't tell you. They all sound exactly the fucking same. And, and that's what bothers me. They're still stuck in that mode of just tremolo pick with giant atmosphere orchestration going on. Blast beats, double bass out the ass, and, and I don't like that. The the moments I started off by describing that I really liked, those all those things that I just mentioned are non-existent, and, and that's why those songs stood out. Another thing I dig about this album, some people might find it annoying, but I thought it was really cool, and, and at times it does maybe, you know, bear down, but they don't overuse it too much. Um, they maybe use it on about half the tracks or maybe a little less. Uh, maybe It's about four or five of the songs. They have a full-blown opera singer on this album, and I really dig that. Um, some of the parts that the opera vocalist comes in at and the way they're sung are fantastic, and they just fit the music. And it's times like those, maybe, where the tremolo picking is cool every once in a while. But verse after verse of blast beat and just these vocals that are just sound exactly the same every time you know they happen these sections of the songs happen it's just fucking drives you crazy and that's one thing i don't like about this album it, it that that from agony it's still just brought over in my opinion um it's like you know oh we got a bunch of commercial success with that let's keep doing it uh, but to me, tremolo picking, I'm sorry, it's like breakdowns. It's not, doesn't require much talent in my mind. You can get mad at me all you want, I don't care. I know a lot of people will bitch at me either way, whether I say that or not. Uh, but, just my opinion on that. Um, and, and there's, there's two more things that I don't like about this album. And, and well, first of all, let me go back to the guitar work. Uh, yes, there's tremolo picking, but there's there's some riffs, there's some pretty cool riffs, there's a lot of tremolo picking, and there's a lot of, you know, guitar riffs that are very choppy, you know, like, dun 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 you know, um, or, or when Minotaur comes in, it's like, dun 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 you know, like that. That happens a lot on here, too. And that's... I, I enjoy listening to that more than I do tremolo picking all the time. But... Ah, spice it up, man. You know, I don't know. It's almost that because the, the vocalist plays guitar at the same time, they want to simplify things because he can't play riffs in this at the same time. I'm just assuming that. I don't fucking know. But whatever. Um... That's that's about that's my complaints with the guitar work, and there's one more actually, and, and this is the laziest, worst thing about this album is that every goddamn fucking solo is exactly the same. <laughs> every single one, all you know, ten tracks, every one is the same. Just down, down, It's just like, oh my god. And then when the next one comes in. It's like, oh my god. It, it's the laziest thing. It's like the, the the solos weren't even written out. He just sat down and was like, yeah. Just hit the record button. I'll do something. It's like, come on. I, I mean, even when you listen to Agony, every solo is exactly the fucking same. And in... You know, you hear it one time, you're like, that's kind of all right. You hear it the second time, you're like, okay. Kind of sounded like the last one. You hear it ten more times, and it's like, fuck. It, it just wears down on you so much, and it just drives me uh, ape shit. I just, oh my god. That's the worst part about this album. I was listening to this on the way home from Winter Sun. And every time, I just shook my head, and it was painful to get through. The solos are horrible on this. I don't care what anyone says. They're bad. They're boring, and they're just very uninspired and not creative at all. So, that's that. And another thing, this one's more small, but they do use it a lot. Is these high 
screechy vocals that just come out of nowhere and and they're just shouting and it's fucking annoying. Like they could have done without them. They add nothing to the songs at all. They did, you know. I, every time I hear it, I'm not like that was cool. You know, they should do that more. I'm like. Shut the fuck up. You're annoying. It, it, I cannot stand when they do that. that. Like, oh my god. You're like a fucking four-year-old. Just shut the fuck up. Put him on mute. I, I, I hate that about this. Those are the big things that I really just found annoying about this album. And, and, but, there, but there are some cool things. Overall, I just feel that their songwriting is improved from Agony. This album is much more listenable, in my opinion, you know, because of the moments where they, you know, will use a riff, or, you know, there's this really awesome vocal melody, or the, the opera vocals come in, or something. Or, uh, there's a part in the song Kingborn that's very septic flesh-like to me. I know they're kind of a similar band in style, but it, it like I could have sworn, you know, that came straight out of the Great Mass or something. I thought I thought it was really really neat. Um, there's some spoken word elements on here that I thought was pretty cool, and and I mean overall the vocals are you know not bad. They're definitely you know flesh got poxed, definitely very brutal, definitely fast and aggressive, and, and like I said, at times the guitar work can be really cool minus the solos. And all the constant tremolo picking. Um, and, and when I speak of tremolo picking, every once in a while it can create a very cool atmosphere. And it can be very, very nice. But all the time, it's, it's really annoying in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> what else? The drumming is very much of the same. As Agony. It, it's a lot of blast beats, a lot of double bass. and But... You know, I, I can't sit here and deny that this guy does not have talent. I mean, it takes a ton of stamina and a lot of talent to be able to blast beat for four minutes straight or something like that. You know, he has a lot of talent. I just wish he would use it more and spice things up and, you know, a variety. This album is like a very bland steak with no spices, you know. Once you throw the spices on there, it's really, really good. But it's just like this boring steak with just minimal amount of spice to me. And I mean, I'm not disappointed because I kind of expected this. I knew what this album was going to be. But at times it really did surprise me. And I was like, wow, you know, that is neat. Um, so I have to say, if you're like, if you really like Agony, you will love this. If you didn't like Agony, it really won't turn your head much. And I mean... S songs where, in moments where they really shine, I just wish they would do it all the time, in my opinion. Um, to me, this is a band that has all the potential in the world, but they're not really using it. Um, and also, the mix is just kind of, eh. Like, I, I, I feel it could have been mixed better. You you listen to Winter Sun, and th there's a lot of, you know, orchestration and symphonic stuff going on and all this good stuff with a lot of, you know, guitar work and drums and all that, and it's mixed absolutely perfectly. You'll listen to Time One, and you won't be bitching about the mix. You won't be, I can't hear the guitar work. This this orchestration is overpowering everything. But you listen to Flesh God Apocalypse, sometimes the orchestration overpowers everything. And it's sometimes really hear hard to hear the guitars and what's happening. It's just like, oh... I wish they would just mix everything a little bit better. I feel just feel like they took everything, pushed it up to 10, and forgot about the guitars. And, you know, left that down at, like, 8. It, it, ah, I just wish it would be mixed a little better. This, this record is loud. It is very loud. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about this album. I know, you know, many of you will disagree, and that's completely fine. If you agree, that's awesome. If you don't... Just tell me why. Tell me how you feel about this album, how you feel about this band. Now you know how I feel. I feel that this album is much better than Agony, except, you know, it still has some things that just bother me about it. Um, overall, I feel that it's improved, like I said, and some of the songs are really, really neat, but I don't see this, you know, being on anybody's album of the year list at the end. Um, it certainly won't be on mine. 
So I'm going to give Flesh God Apocalypse Labyrinth a uh, seven and a half out of ten. Um, definitely check this out if you like Agony, and if you really dig this band, you really won't be disappointed. You'll fall in love with it, and that's completely cool. Keep supporting them if you love them. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I have to say. Pick this out when it pick it. Yeah, can't talk. Pick it out when it comes out August twentieth. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, expect. A CD collection update tomorrow, a concert review the next day, and then a review of Revocation Chimera in the days to follow. I don't know what else. We'll fucking figure it out. Bye.